Raider Nation, we finally have some awesome free agency news to cover here. The Las Vegas Raiders are re-signing offensive lineman Jermaine Illuminor. Every single person right now, spam those 72s down in the chat. I mean, this is probably my favorite move that the Raiders have made this offseason. I mean, we've been asking for a long time, when is this team going to make a move that realistically really truly helps us and makes us believe that we are moving in the right direction so Illuminor is one of those players that I have been begging for the Raiders to bring back begging for the Raiders to give him another opportunity because I mean you got to be able to face the facts this was a guy who not a lot of people gave him a chance and then he has had his best seasons with Carmen Brasillo he is coming off his best season with the Las Vegas Raiders this past season, and my favorite thing arguably about him is his versatility. He is going to be your Raiders starting right tackle, right? Like, this was the Raiders move. You're going to have Colton Miller at left tackle. I believe you might have Natane Moody at left guard. Andre James is probably going to be your starting center from what it looks like right now. Dylan Parham, you kick him over to guard, who it sounds like he put on some good weight. And now you got Jermaine Illuminor over at your right tackle position. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications for more updates around the Las Vegas Raiders. Even if I'm just chilling at home, our DoorDash food is about to be here any minute. And I can't wait. But guess what? My job is to keep you guys up to date. So, with the Raiders bringing him back, we don't have the contract details yet. I am curious to see where it rolls in because... Not a lot of offensive linemen have gone off the board in terms of where I value how good Jermaine Illuminor is to a football team. The initial projections for him were somewhere around five, six, seven million dollars. I've seen some places where he was around four. I think if you can get him in any one of those ranges, I'm okay with the deal because I know Illuminor is going to bring it. He's going to bring the enthusiasm. And actually, funny enough, uh, as I am making this video, Illuminor, he just tweeted, Colt and I will be the best tackle duo, not only in the AFC West, but the NFL this upcoming season. I'll show y'all consistency. Let's go, Jermaine. If y'all haven't already, go retweet the shit out of that. I'm excited to have this big guy back on this football team, and he deserves it. He was a player that even back in 2020... He didn't really get a lot of playing time. 2021 even. Didn't get a lot of time. He started the first four games at right tackle. And personally, I think a lot of Raider Nation was kind of wondering, why aren't we seeing more from Mon or from Illuminor? And then he kind of got benched. And then you didn't see much of him from here on out. Last season, every single person is telling you it's going to be Leatherwood. I'm telling you, it ain't going to be Leatherwood. Every person saying it's Brandon Parker. I'm like, yeah, it probably shouldn't be Brandon Parker either. Illuminor stepped up to the plate. Listen to all the critics. I was one of them those first few games, and he's even talked about that, where he's like, yeah, the first few games, I wasn't good. You look at probably those last 12, 13 games, I'll have to return on the tape, but the last 12 or 13 games for Illuminor, he was playing at a very high level, and it's why he's coming off, you look at a PFF, an over 72 overall grade. He was one of the most consistent offensive linemen in the National Football League. So whether you think it's going to be Jimmy Garoppolo, if you haven't seen the news on Garoppolo yet, go check out the video that I made earlier today. If you did see it, though, hey, no matter if it's a free agent like Jimmy G or rookie quarterback, you need to have a good offensive line. You need to be able to win in the trenches, especially when Jimmy has been as fragile as what he is. If your plan is to bring in a rookie quarterback, then, yeah, you need a good offensive line around that quarterback. You brought back Josh Jacobs. He's going to need a good offensive line as well. I'm very curious to see what the Raiders continue to do on that interior offensive line. But uh, <clears throat> I guess it's only a, a matter of time until we see the final clear picture. So Jeremy and I, we've been live probably the last, I'll say, We've been live now for about 33 and a half hours this week. I'm going to be live again tomorrow with Patrick Seatman. Hopefully you guys tune in to see that. But nonetheless, uh, tomorrow's show was St. Patty's Day. It's it's going to be a pretty wild one. So again, y'all, I wanted to be able to make you guys this video <clears throat> around the news of Jermaine Illuminor, around the news of the Raiders re-signing him. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact salary cap of what the silver and black are at. That one's still kind of being negotiated. I know today, if mathematically I got all the contracts right, 
we were somewhere around $20 million. We do not have the final numbers yet on what exactly a Luminor's contract looks like, but I, I think it's going to be a deal that a lot of Raider fans are going to be happy with. You still got 12 picks. That's going to be something to look at on top of that. Actually, as I am making this video, I actually uh, just got a text message here. Sounds like the Raiders and Rocky Sin have also started talking. So we could see here if Rocky Sin and the Las Vegas Raiders get a deal done as well. I know that we've been waiting, we've been hoping that the Silver and Black would do something at the cornerback position. We just, we still don't know if it's going to end up going down. But I do want to talk about what I think the Raiders' offensive line could look like a little bit next season. And a lot of question marks around Brasillo's unit. A lot of question marks of what guys like Brandon Parker, Thayer Munford would potentially look like. And I think no matter what, locked and loaded, Colton Miller is going to be your left tackle. Left guard, this is where it kind of gets fun. The interior of the offensive line, and I guess I could honestly say, make an argument for uh, everything besides Colt Miller, it, it goes up for discussion. Do they decide to roll with the Tane Moody, who they've already re-signed this offseason? Do they roll with Parham again, who is one of the better interior offensive linemen, especially at a young age? Could they go with that route? Could they decide to stick at center with, I don't know, an Andre James? Could they move on from Andre? Say $5.1 million. You kick Dylan Parham back into center, where I do think is what the Raiders want him to try to play. Do you play him at... Who's going to be your starting right guard? Do you kick Parham in at right guard? Do you have a question mark there? At right tackle, you can play Jermaine Illuminor. You can play Thayer Munford. You can play even, you know, Brandon Parker. I mean, to me, from what I've seen, I think Thayer Munford is probably best as a tackle, which I'm actually surprised I'm saying that. Probably best as a tackle, and I think that's where he's going to get an opportunity this offseason. What, what makes me wonder at times is if, you know, I, I go back and I think of some of the old quotes that McDaniel, some of the old quotes that Ziegler said, and it was, we're going to go with the best guys. We're going to go with the best guys on the offensive line. Crazy world with all these question marks around what the Raiders could potentially do at right guard. We know Illuminor could play right guard. It makes me wonder if, let's just say that you, you play Illuminor at guard. Could you kick out Brandon Parker? Could you kick out Thayer Munford to right tackle and, with Illuminor at right guard, is that your best is that your best offensive line? But with Thayer Munford saying that Colt Miller and I are going to be the best tackle duo in the league, that sounds like he wants to be a tackle. And with that being said, if you're getting paid tackle money, it's a lot different than offensive guard money. All right, Nation, that's all the time that I got for y'all today. Our food's actually just about to get here, so I'm going to go eat some dinner here with Alex with some Chuck. Much love to everyone out there and very, very excited to have Jermaine Illuminor back in the silver and black.